Hi, we're Community, Community Gardens. Gardens. I'm Teal. I'm Crystal. And I'm Christopher. Our other members are Jeanette, James, Ashley, and Stino. This film is about organic foods, non-organic foods, and the impact community gardens can have on consumers. We're trying to make people more aware of their eating habits, how community gardens can help them with that. And this is also important to us because we would like for people to better their eating habits. We also created this film to show the importance of having more community gardens around the city. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. I think the meaning of organic is basically not having any chemicals in it or not being altered by anything. Organic foods are products that are fresh that are made without using pesticides or any chemical. I think fast food restaurants are trying to add healthier foods to their menu because it's kind of gotten in vogue to eat healthy. Like it's popular, especially after Super Size Me, everyone went on this kick. Like it's supposed to be fashionable to eat healthy. Um, I don't really think that they are that healthy. Like McDonald's salad dressing has, you know, however, 26 grams of fat or whatever. It's not actually that much healthier. Uh, but I think it's like a fad. I think they're just trying to s sell stuff. I think they're adding healthier foods to their menu because in the last year there were a few lawsuits against different restaurants talking about how they got them sick with their items. So basically, they add healthier food to their menu. It's the person's choice whether they eat the healthier food or a uh, burger or something. I'm Carrie Hagee, and I'm a member of the Growing Pride Garden Club, uh, the Garden Club of Humboldt Park. And I work with the Neighborhood Youth Garden Corps, which is a program of Open Lands organization. And I became an active participant in community gardens through getting this job at the Neighborhood Youth Garden Corps as the crew leader. I discovered my love for community gardens and took the Building Urban Gardens course and became an active member in Growing Pride. So it was through seeking employment um, in you, for myself as a youth employment leader that I became an active member of the Humboldt Park Gardening community. I'm Samantha Crichton. I work with the Chicago Botanic Garden and I'm in the community gardening uh, section of the Botanic Garden and I am the coordinator for Green Youth Farm. Community Garden is a garden with, few, with fruits and vegetables and a community that works together and a community that comes together and do projects, activities, events, and that celebrates the garden and treat it well, like cleaning up the garbage, picking up the weeds, and working well with one another and getting to know each other. Since it's a community garden, it's the whole community, and people need to know that. So what is a community garden is basically a space that is in a certain neighborhood that people come together and they uh, grow various things. So a community garden can be a flower garden as well as a vegetable garden depending on uh, the community and what they want. In non-organic gardening you would use chemicals to help you um, like miracle Grow or chemicals to give the vegetables and things extra nutrients that they need. And in organic gardening, you're very careful um, not to use chemicals and to do all the, um, that kind of stuff manually. So in non-organic gardening, you would spray chemical on it to kill the weeds. In organic gardening, you have eight youth that come out and pull all the weeds every day. The meaning of organic is basically food that's grown that does not have pesticides or herbicides on it. So pesticides basically is more or less where there's certain particular things that would harm the plant. My name is Avion, I'm seven, and I am about to taste organic and non-organic apples. This one and this one. 
were organic and this one and this one were the organic ones are better than the non-organic ones because the organic ones are juicier than the other ones i think i could benefit more more people more fruits more vegetables in, in the community garden because I, I feel that it is important for us to eat healthy and we need to learn more about organic. I think that having more community gardens around, um, around the city and around the area is a good idea because it would allow a lot more people access to food that's healthy and fresh and, and also educate people. Like we're going to need to start doing something about the way our land is used. For me, I value eating locally because it saves on um, gas and things to bring the produce to me where I live and it also um, saves, it helps with jobs and employment in the neighborhoods that I care about. I think it's important to eat fresh vegetables because not everybody can afford organic but because um, I know that there's some instances that people can't afford organic produce. It is very expensive. Um, but to try to eat fresh food, not processed food, I think is more important than anything else. Have a community garden in your neighborhood and you participate. A lot of times what happens is, is that all the produce that you grow in the garden, not necessarily you can actually eat all yourself or your family. So most people share everything. So you might have an abundance of tomatoes or an abundance of greens and you can trade off. So it's all, everybody working together to provide everybody in that community who's a part of that community garden fresh produce.